Hey, I'm Rolf Potts. I've been a travel writer for over 10 years, but right now I'm getting ready to embark on a journey like nothing I've ever done before. At the moment, I'm at home in Kansas, and as you can see, the travel writer lifestyle is very glamorous. We have my uh, prairie mansion here in the background, and this is my late model sports car. Uh, and of course, any career, you need a nice, adoring female fans, and I have two of them right here. This is Anna, and this is Martha. And uh, why don't you come with us, and I'll tell you a little bit about uh, the journey that I have before me. Over the past decade, I've been fortunate enough to have some pretty amazing adventures in different parts of the world, including seven years of living and traveling in Asia. Uh, I drove a Land Rover across the Americas for three months. I've been to Africa for the New York Times Magazine. I've been to uh, Australia for Slate. I've been to the Falkland Islands for National Geographic Traveler. I've uh, appeared as an expert on the Travel Channel and talked about independent travel in places like the Do Lectures in Wales and the authors at Google in New York. But all of those far-flung travels had one thing in common. I brought luggage. And the more I've traveled, the more I've thought, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> what dog jumps out the window? <laughs> <laughs> Dogs are, come on, come on, get in here, dummy. But all those far-flung journeys had one thing in common. I brought luggage, and the more I traveled, the more I've wondered if luggage is really necessary or if it just sort of gets in the way of your travels. And so to test out that theory, I've decided to travel around the world for six weeks, five continents, 12 countries, without a single piece of luggage, not even a man purse or a fanny pack. I'll be going from New York to London, through France and Spain, down to Morocco, and then Egypt, and then South Africa, over to Thailand, Malaysia, and Singapore, out to New Zealand, and back to LA, before returning to New York over the course of those six weeks. And during that entire time, the only things I bring will be stowed in the pockets of my clothing. This first little journey just takes me into town, where I get a haircut before I head off to New York to begin the journey. Now besides the inherent fun and challenge of trying to travel around the world with no luggage, I also see my journey as a field test for a more philosophical notion that what we experience in life is more important than what we bring with us. The idea is that without baggage there won't be anything to get in the way of the enjoyment of the trip and the people you meet along the way. A funny thing is, as I was planning this adventure, a strange thing began to happen. Baggage began to make headlines. Airlines started charging for carry-on luggage, and flight attendants started ejecting themselves from airplanes over baggage arguments. Suddenly, the whole notion of traveling without luggage doesn't seem so crazy. It seems sort of sensible. So I hope you'll join me over the course of the next six weeks as I wander my way around the world without a single scrap of luggage. Mm -hmm.